Canceling the alert. Return to your position. I see you're disguised as a scientist. It suits you rather nicely. As long as you don't do anything suspicious, like roll or crawl, the enemy should have no reason to suspect you. Sokolov is somewhere inside that lab. Find out where he is and make contact with him. If you want to know where Sokolov is, why don't you ask one of the people around there? Snake, your disguise seems to be working. But don't forget, You got some instant noodles, huh? Instant noodles? Uh-huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Speaking of which... Yeah? Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, all right. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever.
If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. <laughs> and who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. 
What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic Shagohard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. The tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But, a fool's in charge, Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money-laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... We'll open that door. Beyond that door lies a vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love... 
my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism!
Just my imagination.
You want to save? Snake, have you seen the movie Them? No. It's about these giant ants that appear in the desert of New Mexico after a nuclear test. The army tries to fight them off with flamethrowers. The ants were so big that they filled up the entire screen. The whole movie theater was screaming. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good meal. Yeah, well, if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. Just like a girl who gone.